There we go. Okay. This should put us live. Good morning, everyone. Um, I hope you can hear me loud and clear. I'm just going to go over to the comments page to make sure that people are, are seeing us here. Yes, we are live. So that's very good. Good morning, everyone. I'm very excited. I've got uh, my friend, Captain Jack Nolan, here, and he's live on the road. I think he's in Nebraska somewhere. Is that correct? <laughs> I am. Hi, Jack. So you should be able to hear him loud and clear. So we got something really exciting for you today. Uh, they say still waiting. I just have to make sure that people are, um, are watching. Okay, we got, we got people watching. Okay, very good. So you, the audio has slight echo is what someone is just saying. One second. Um, I'm going to try and improve that. Okay, let's see if the, if the echo is gone now. Let me just see. Uh, can we just get rid of the echo? No. Uh, let me just see. Okay, let's first just get, get rid of this. And just make sure. <laughs> no, echo is still there. Echo is still Okay, echo is still there. One second. This is sometimes irritating when you have an echo and you don't know where it comes from. Um, let me see. Let me try and mute mine. Maybe, maybe. Echo is still there. Yes, echo. Okay, you've still got an echo. I'm just trying to figure out where the echo is coming from. It must be coming through through some. Yeah, this is the first time I'm doing it like this. So let's see if I can. Well, that would be Captain Jack. Let me see if I. Yeah, it's not you, Jack. I don't think it is you. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Now it's gone. Okay, they say the echo is gone. Excellent. Okay, the echo seems to be gone. Uh, when Jack turned it, turned uh, his down, it left. That's what they're saying. Okay, so maybe the echo is coming from your side, Jack. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, hi Christian, uh, uh, his is muted, it's fine. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Well, sorry about that. I think we got the technical problems uh, figured out now. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. So I'm excited today. Let's start all over again. You got the map of the United States, Mexico and Canada in the background. And of course, also Alaska. We're going to talk uh, about that in a, in a moment. Now I can't hear Jack, they say. Oh my goodness. Now they can't hear you. Why is that? Wait a sec. Just say something, Jack. I can hear on the phone. Hang on. One sec. Okay, now they can't hear you. Let me see. Ah, see how I, 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 I can see that. Yes. yes, okay. They can't hear Jack. And I can see that the signal from Jack is not coming through. You know what, Jack? Um, <laughs> um, let's... Let's try it like this. I'm going to put my phone higher. Okay, just say something, Jack. Okay, let's try that. Okay, what I've done now is Jack is coming via the phone, and now they say now the echo is back. Um, yeah. So, um, Jack, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute you here. Um, now the e the echo should be gone because I muted you on the system. So let's just figure this out one second very quickly again. And, and see, I'm um, echoes back when his is on, right? Okay, so what I've done now is um, I've muted him through the one system. Now it is echoes. Okay. Um, the problem is I'm getting the feedback from people about 30 seconds to one minute later. So I have to always wait. <laughs> What's going on here? We hear him. Yes, you hear him. Okay, what I've done now is I'm, I'm, I'm introducing him through the phone. But it shouldn't actually echo. Say something, Jack. They can hear Jack. We hear him. And hopefully the echo has gone. Let's just try. And please give us the feedback um, uh, of the echo. I mean, this stuff is not easy to, to figure out yet because it's the first time. So anyway, let's get, let's get going. Let's just get going. So I've got, again, I've got Captain Jack here. He's on the way, actually. Jack, say, say hello. Okay, they're saying hello to you. That's fine. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, he can't. So Jack can't see this. Okay, Jack is on the road now, and he's uh, live in his truck. Uh, he's got a, a very nice Mercedes truck, and he's doing this live. I've actually um, admired his truck when he visited me at his house. So the, what we're going to talk today about is two things. The one is his new book, which is exciting. So Jack, I'm going to just um, uh, let's see. I'm just going to show the book here and um, blend it out. So what you can see at the moment is a book here uh, from Amazon. I don't hear him. Yeah, you'll hear him in a moment. Uh, he'll come over my speaker system. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. My 30 years as captain in the Bering Sea. So what you're seeing here is a copy from Amazon. Um, really exciting. I have uh, The book has just come out. I have not read it yet, but you can see it's got 54 cust uh, customer reviews and it's got five stars. Now, how great is that, Jack? <laughs> I'm very happy for you. But Jack, maybe you could just introduce everyone quickly to your book and then we'll get going and talk about what we've done. Yeah, well, there's a lot to cover, Christian, as you know. Um, you and I turned out, I don't know how many years ago, but uh, as eagle enthusiasts, and then we both branched out a little bit. But I wrote a book, a book over the last six months about my experience in the Bering Sea. It's like a warm-up book, because I have a lot of stories. And uh, it, we launched it, we were just crazy. We launched it on a third on a Wednesday, and we... We left on a Friday in our spinner van, and we're doing all 48 days on a trip we always want to do. So we're currently right here, I think I can even show you, right here in a little park in uh, Nebraska. We just crossed the Missouri River, and we're searching for a cell signal. That's one reason I've got Christian scrambling for, I'll just get everything together here now because we showed up late. I do apologize. But um, Christian invited me into this thing. We had a wonderful trip ourselves, and we've done a couple of other things together. So. Christian wanted to get together and talk about that. Um, I'm just really pleased that folks showed up. It's great. We love to talk about what we love. We love what we're doing. We love to talk about it. Yes, well, I was very excited. I met Jack probably in 2014. I'm not quite sure. Somewhere around there, right, Jack? Yeah, I'm really bad <laughs> at something like that. Yeah, Jack is very muted, low volume. I know. I apologize for that because I've got him on the speakerphone. So I do understand that. Um, I, oh, well, uh, if you didn't understand what Jack was saying, he was he was commenting about his book. Uh, so he's he's at the moment traveling through the U.S. Uh, presenting his book everywhere. He spent uh, this year mostly on a cruise ship, actually talking. I thought it was very exciting. Okay. So he's uh, he's presenting his book. To a lot of audiences, he's talking, he's been invited everywhere. I, he's got a very, very unique story, as you can imagine. Uh, the story being unique in the sense that usually, captain, I've met a few for a captain from a fisherman, they are not the, um, <laughs> they are not the most uh, talkative people, actually. So Jack is, Jack, Jack is different. He's a very gifted author. He's, uh, his writing skills are superb. And also he is... He has a very creative side. He is a superb photographer. And uh, what I loved, and I just have to quickly tell this story, that's why I got so excited about Jack. I saw him first on Facebook. And he has he has this fishing boat, and he's got these large, we have these large sodium high-pressure lamps on them. You'll see some of the pictures later, okay, as I give, give that to you. Yeah, if you turn up the volume, I saw it. If you turn up the volume, you'll be able to hear Jack properly. That's what you have to do. You have to help a little bit and turn. So you've got these large sodium uh, lights turning, and he turns the uh, he can turn the whole boat in, into a specific uh, in, a wind direction. So the eagles are forced to land from a certain direction, and it gives it's like a theater stage on the sea. Never, never been done like that before. I was absolutely amazed. I saw a, a glimpse of that, although I didn't really, we didn't really do a tour um, when we were together in Dutch Harbor, but I thought it was an amazing idea. And he got pictures out of this world. I can, you can, you can really recognize Jack's eagle images. They a world, uh, you know, they have their own handwriting on them. And anyway, so Jack, what I thought is I'm going to start introducing now to Dutch Harbor. And um, so you we're going to see Dutch Harbor and pay, please pay attention to the first video. I'm going to show many videos today, okay? Um, the first video is going to have sound. It's going to, you'll see Jack and myself standing very close to the airport, very close to the Bering Sea. Um, and maybe before we go to that, let me just explain the map, okay? Because that's really important. So that you, most people probably don't know what the Bering Sea is. They, they have no idea 
what Alaska actually does. So, Jack, I'm going to I'm just putting uh, the image now from the um, uh, from the, uh, what you see here is an image of the United States. You see Canada, and then you see uh, this arm there coming out from from um, um, the Aleutian chain. Maybe you can say a few words about this particular region of the United States. Oh yeah, well, this is a little, actually a very little known region, but it's uh, it's the richest fishing grounds in the world. That's of course why I went there originally. But people think of the Bering Sea as being up around the Arctic Circle or clear up around the Bering Straits or somewhere. In reality, you know how far north you have to go. Did I tell you this? You know how far north you have to go from Seattle to get to Dutch Harbor? Yes. Go on. You only have to go 300 miles north to get to Dutch Harbor, but you have to go farther west than Hawaii, you have to go out past, out by Midway to get out to Dutch Harbor. So it's a chain of islands to stretch clear across the North Pacific. There's a ring of islands that are all very volcanic, very active. Uh, Christians saw that. They're all cone-shaped. Uh, it's very common to see volcanoes. And the, the trench, the Aleutian Trench on the south side is 25,000 feet deep. So you're looking at 10,000 foot mountains that actually are 25,000 feet underwater. These are massive peaks that were just ringed with water around the top. Um, and clear out in this remote region, there is a very healthy population of all kinds of nature, but eagles have thrived because it's the richest fishing area in the world, and that's their, that's their primary diet. Yes, exa exactly. And the Bering Sea is, is, is very known for a certain specific fish. Maybe you can go into that because I'm just showing them the more geological structure from Google uh, Earth so they can see how steep the ridges right. are, the volcanic region. But maybe you can say a little bit about what rich uh, fish you can catch there. Well, on the south side of the island, of course, the trench, which is steep and deep, uh, five or ten times larger than the Grand Canyon. And on the north side, they have the Bering Sea is actually the Bering Land Bridge. A very shallow shelf. That's where all the life lives. That's where all the fish, the crab, um, salmon, the halibut, everything comes up on that shelf and it's stirred up by tremendous winds. The winds are born out of Siberia. The weather itself is born out of Siberia and it actually comes across the Bering Sea and gets stirred up. That's where the storms are born. That's why it's such a stormy area. And uh, believe it or not, I can give you some numbers, but it's hard to believe, but it's too million metric tons of protein comes out of the Bering Sea a year. That's wow. That's a billion pounds of protein. <laughs> so that's many... And it's been that one, that's many pounds, that right? For 30 years. Yeah. And it's a very healthy ecosystem. It's extremely healthy. It keeps growing. It's blowing everybody's mind. So they never take more than they... They never take more than what they think is... Excuse me, I had to say this right. They only take 10% of what they think is there. And there's a lot of biologists working on that. So the population is allowed to grow. That's many pollen, right? right? A lot of it is pollen, yeah. Very good. There's also, you know, salmon and halibut and king crab and everything else, too. The real bread basket. Very good. Well, thanks, uh, Jack. So I've, I've shown the map of the um, of the illusions and maybe a little bit uh, about our plane trip there, uh, because it, it, for me, it was very unusual. If you go to airports in the United States, what, what we uh, what you usually think is, well, this is like Dallas Airport or so. <laughs> That's our friend, by the way, that you can see there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, that's fine. That we took we took him along, and actually we presented him to a to a juvenile. But what's what's amazing about Alaska? I'm just going to play you this clip now, and you're going to see a lot of clips because it's much more exciting. So I'm going to show you the first clip now, where Jack and I are standing, um, very close to the Bering Sea, and it was very calm. And suddenly this gust of wind comes in. Just listen to what what Jack is talking about and what we're talking about. You'll, you'll get an idea how very west um, Dutch Harbor really is. It's much more west than Hawaii, which is absolutely amazing. But it's on the ti same time zone as, um, as Alaska is. So it's absurd. So that means that your morning is actually very late. So have a, have a look now. I'm going to play this now. <laughs> such a detailed person that he's getting portraits that are just amazing and teaching me a lot about camera work so well that's something i do want to say about jack bolden i mean 
his experience as a captain certainly comes through. If you ever think you can go, just come to Dutch Harbor, it ain't easy. Simply, this is an industrial town, industrial city. Everything's industrial. Even if you go out of Safeway, they're laying out their nets, they're unknotting it, repairing it. Everything's industrial, it's heavy stuff. You can slide, you can hurt yourself, yeah. and you can't just go out on the dock. So I'm really fortunate to be out here with Jack Mullen. I make the joke to Christian all the time that Alaska really is a third world country with, with money. There's just so many inconveniences here that he, he just shakes his head. He can't believe, wait a minute, wait a minute. What century are we in here? Uh, they haven't just, uh, invented the internet. No, the internet is <laughs> dial up super slow, break up all the time. So oh, that's wonderful. you can see that wind line is starting to come in closer now with that with that squall. That's a friend of mine's boat out there. That's a, a factory trawler. They're just coming in from probably a, a 10 to 15 day trip. So anyway, we're going to go hunt yeah. for some eagles. By the way, it's 1030 now, yeah, yeah. but we are west of Hawaii here. We are 166 degrees latitude. Yeah. And Hawaii is, I think, have worked this way. That way. is 156, right? Uh, yes. And um, yeah, it's just incredible. So we are actually on, on Anchorage time, which is completely wrong. And that's why it's early in the morning still. Look at the wind, folks. Look at the wind. It's incredible here. Here comes a gust. They call these willowas here in Alaska. OK, um, I have to get back to the tripod. <laughs> there it goes. I'm sorry for swearing. You're all right. OK, so I, I think you got, you got like the idea uh, how crazy the weather there is. And these wind gusts that you just saw, that's why I started like that. It is absolutely real. My whole tripod went flying. <laughs> I just showed that scene. Uh, and and it's uh, it, it, it gives you very much the incredible environment. And that's also why they have these large propeller machines that, that land there. I think Jack told me this story. They used to have uh, uh, turbine or jet engines landing there, and they gave that up, right? So. <laughs> right. Okay. So let let's. Um, um, I'm I'm now showing them an e an image of an eagle, and that is the typical picture that you would see in Alaska. So you get this very wet. Um, oops. I hope I hope the uh, broadcast is still working. One second. It's uh, ah, it's it's spinning. Oh dear. This is not sometimes not perfect. Oh dear. Wait a sec. I can see it spinning now. Um, is it? Wait a second. Is it still working? I, I, it looks like it's it's spinning. You know, I never know why this is all times. Okay. I restart. I there's still, still yeah. Now we got it. Okay, got it. Okay, we are back. We're back on now. No, we're not. Oh, it's buffering. Is it coming through now? Uh, I think it's fine now. I think we're back. We're back online. Yes, they're starting up again. Okay. Yeah, one has to pay attention to so many things. Here. <laughs> okay. So yes, we are back. So what I uh, I apologize. I sometimes don't know whether it's our internet. Uh, or so, but uh, I'm, I'm paying attention to the screen to, to see if I get any feedback from you. So what I do then is I restart the stream and then it seems to be okay again. Okay, so my apologies for that. So what you see here is a typical, <laughs> I, Osprey, I see everyone here, gentlemen, ghost, RJ, Tim, so hello, Klingon Warbird, thank you. And thanks for your kind donations yesterday, okay? Uh, really appreciate that. So you can, yeah, you can see the picture of the eagle. And that's the, the typical wet eagle head that you get. And now I'm going to uh, show you a video of the Russian church there. And maybe um, Jack, uh, since the, the um, I've got no sound in the video, so maybe you could just comment on the Russian church. You know, why are there Russians in, <laughs> in Alaska? Or where, where does this come from? Yeah, the Oh, it's gone again. It's gone for the stream. This is so, it's so irritating. I don't know what the cause of this is, but um, I have to, okay, it's, okay, we are back now. Yes, yes, okay. Um, it's there now, okay, yes. The Russian church, okay, go on, please. Yeah, well, the, the Russians were the first people to uh, conquer the illusion. They came in uh, for the birds, for the, the 
the outer belt. In today's dollars, the outer belt would be worth ten thousand dollars. Guy could out get a ship and bring a, a gang in there and uh, live like a king if he filled up his belt with outer belt. Unfortunately, they went in and took all the healthy males out of the villages. Many of the villages died, and they enslaved them, and they took them all up and down the Alaska coast. And but they left their churches and they left their culture. There's a lot of Russian names there, that sort of thing. So. The Russians have a big influence. That church there is about 150 years old, Dutch Harbor. It's the oldest Russian Orthodox church in the U.S. The oldest Russian Orthodox church in the, uh, isn't that, in, uh, that is absolutely amazing. I was so stunned when I saw that. And they are, of course, Russian, yeah. street, Russian street names too, right, Jack? Yeah, lots of, lots of Russian last names, yep. Oh. With the native population. Okay, now we're stuck again. I don't know what we what it is today, Jack. Uh, it's just a... Just really get, uh, trying it again. I have to really look into this. Uh, I don't know whether it's our internet provider or uh, it's coming back, but this is not very pleasant for me to see. I have to find out what the root cause of this is. Okay, one sec. Let's see if this goes back now. Okay, yes, no. no. I just don't know. Ah, it's buffering again. Still trying. But I'm showing them at the moment. Hang on. I lost you. Yes, I know they did. And I don't know why this is happening. Um, <laughs> They're saying Putin is blocking us a poor signal. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Yes, I know. It's buffering and I cannot help this. So maybe, you know what? Um, sorry, have internet problems. Find out why. I don't know. Uh, this is really irritating. Absolutely irritating. I cannot, I cannot um, get this right at the moment. I don't know why it's buffering either, because it says the health is good. It's comp so I, I assume the problem is somewhere else. Uh. My goodness, you know what? It seems to be this computer is overloaded with with. Um, So I need to set this up differently in future. That's for sure. Uh, I need to I need to set this up differently because it just is not coming through. I can't show them any video anymore. Yeah, I'm losing the people. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually on YouTube, you know, I am on YouTube, but that's not, I think the, the issue is not YouTube, it's, uh, it's on my side, unfortunately. So, um, sorry, we have, maybe we, maybe we can, um, I will um, look into this and we will... Do you think you'll have time for another broadcast on another date? You know, just um, because it's such a, and, and we will reschedule. Because I need to find out what the issue is. Yeah, and like what we it's probably going to be best to uh, have it in the late afternoon for you. And it'll be evening for me. Yeah, that's, so fi that's fine. You know, um, yeah. Okay. So Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just stop the stream now because um, I can't fix it. I think I know what the issue. I think I know what the issue is. I didn't expect this issue, but um, it's annoying. It's absolutely annoying. I hate this. <laughs>